So you have a personal quote that says determination plus hard work equals success. So So, part of how you got the opportunity to be in China, tell us how you were able to use that mentality, to use that quote, to motivate you on a daily basis, to get you where you are today. Has been working very, very much for me. And uh, probably people that are mentoring and they have also subscribed to that quote. Uh, it's, It's more of like giving us that motivation where we have to set our mind to something, be determined to achieve certain things, and then work towards it. Because sometimes people believe in luck, people believe in um, those connection, connection also work, but then you have to be prepared for that connection. So let's talk a little bit about your company that you run, Tia Innovative Tech, which you founded in 2018. So how has the vision of the company evolved over time? Uh, it started since 2018, and when it started in 2018, from 2018 up to 2022, uh, basically, what I was doing was to build a platform where people can see or get an idea as to what um, TIT is all about. And it's more of like a technological um, institution. So at the time, what I was doing was producing educational videos on different things within the, the ICD industry. Some videos on, would be on... Arduinos or IoT, some videos on networking, some on programming, some on automation, just videos within or things within the computer industry. I was just trying to make tutorials, uploading them to the the TIT YouTube channel. And also here in China, we also have this app called WeChat and they also have a channel embedded into it. So these videos were also uploaded into the the TIT WeChat channel. And that way people started to learn and started to follow and get more involved. And with with, with time, our time passes by. In 2022, we started to hit, uh, we started to hit the world. We started to hit our community with uh, many programs. So I know Liberians, of course, are part of those who benefit from your, your program and your initiative, but do you have any physical operation out of Liberia? Um, no, for now, there is no physical operation um, out of Liberia. It's something that we have in plan, and it's good that China probably has not opened to students and to people coming back into the country. And also, as of this semester or this year, they are eradicating the thing about online, uh, on- online learning. So things are going to be offline. I've had a couple of the volunteers and other people asking me how things are going to be now. They want to have offline trainings and they want to have offline sessions. So uh, it's something that we are working on and probably we're going to have different uh, trainings, at least in different regions, but then I have to find the right people to work with in different countries. Awesome. Awesome. Of course, whatever we do overseas, whatever success, we want to bring it back into our own country. So. Glad to hear that that's part of your plan. So tell us, um, you guys do a lot of trainings and you're in the tech world. And one of the industry that is rapidly changing at a very fast pace is tech. So how are you able to offer trainings and, and, and resources that is relevant to the, the fast changing industry? Uh, so I tried to look at the latest trends of even, and that's why on the last edition, I uh, brought up one of the speakers who is the founder of Unpack AI because of recent artificial intelligence has been taking the entire internet with chat GPT, with Bing AI and all of that. So I saw it very necessary that on the last edition we had last month, that at least we have a topic or a lecture on artificial intelligence or a chat chatbot system. So, uh, that was done, and I invited one of uh, one of uh, my friend from from Europe to Ada to speak on that. And at least people had that interactive session with him on what is all about this AI and how they can go about um, with the AI system and Chat GPT just introducing it and then giving them. A, I think some of them their minds were blown up, like they wanted him to even go at least slower. But then he introduced a lot of AI system and 
a lot of things that is happening around the, the world of artificial intelligence. So we try to find uh, things that are trending, the technology that is trending at the moment, and then we dive into that. Well, from the programs that you guys have, um, how are you currently managing how effective it is, how impactful it is, so that you keep providing relevant information to people or relevant training to people? So at the end of the program, we open up the platform to the participants uh, for them to give us their feedback and recommendation of which I've cataloged uh, a lot of them, um, I see all of them uh, that spoke on the Just in the program, they gave some recommendations on how we can improve. They gave some recommendation on how uh, we need to make the next edition. So that's one way um, that we try to make the program better by taking the words from the people that are attending the program. But for those people who are watching and are interested in participating in any, uh, in any of your programs, what guidance or what advice would you give them so that they are able to maximize the intent of the program? Uh, first thing, uh, when program is coming up, we will do probably one month public city or maybe two weeks public city. That way we give you the idea as to which topics will be covered uh, on that edition. The speakers that will be speaking, their backgrounds, we also give you their profile. So you have all of this information, the date and time as well. You have all of this information and then you can make an informed decision. Um, you can make an informed decision from there. But also, it's advisable you go and visit uh, TIT YouTube channel, TIT Facebook page and TIT group page. And then you can see like all of the sessions we have had, they are all recorded and they are all share on all of our social media platforms. So if you go there to just in a program, you will see from day one to the six or the five or the seven, you can go and watch all of the, the, the from start to end, you can see everything and then you can follow through. Um, that way you already know, maybe you can have an informed decision from there. You deal with a lot of countries, uh, 22 countries to be exact, you've impacted people in those, in those nations. What are some challenges of success you've had spending your network that wide? Because it has to come at a cost as much as it has benefits. So what are some challenges and what are some success you've had dealing with that number of countries at a time? Uh, like one of the challenges uh, working, especially if you are out of China and then you need to connect to probably some of the platforms that we use uh for the classes or the the trainings uh they cannot connect on this platform because of some restrictions and too many verification processes and some of them are not adequate to these technological tools if it's the first time joining the program they don't have vast experience to navigate in a way around this real platforms and also working with people or getting people from different countries um sometimes language barriers so like even the last time i have to enable uh automatic caption or translation in different languages for certain people that could not understand english better or probably the speaker was speaking so fast and then they needed a way in which they could be able to understand um the person so these are some of the challenges but when it comes to the progress or or opportunities that we get by getting people from a different countries. I think it's important that they get to understand like um, they themselves can even run this, these programs in their country. They, they themselves can even start an initiative of such in a country. They can also collaborate with TIT to conduct trainings or recommendations or even provide technical guidance to them. I think it's it's a way in which we are selling ourselves out there and we are also making people to have that courage and that motivation like if this person can do this I think I can also do or probably um, maybe I can also work with this person you know to have something of such in my country so it's more of like the way Chinese say it's gonna is like a win-win situation